Hey, how's it going? YouTube, Dom here. In this video, we're going to talk about if it's too late to learn web development in 2023. So this is one of my most popular videos on the channel here. And you know, it's 2023, new year, and a lot has happened within the last year, whether that's from layoffs, whether that's with chat GPT that just came out with AI, a lot of people are concerned about, you know, the future outlook of that. And you know, this has really brewed up the question if it's too late to learn web development in 2023. So <clears throat> if you've been living under a rock over the past couple years, uh, web development has gained a lot of popularity within the last couple years. Right, so a lot of people are doing it, a lot of boot camps are teaching it, and as a result, the industry has become really, really competitive. But does that, and then there's also ChatGPT that just came out, which is, you know, providing a lot of concern for a lot of developers. So the question you might be asking yourself, is it too late? And the short answer is no, but there's an exclamation mark, an asterisk. The thing is, Web development has been really popular for a long time. So as a result, it's been, you know, uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of competition. You know, I'm in a program right now where there's a lot of boot camp grads and they're struggling to get into the industry, which tells you a lot, right? So web development, really, I wouldn't say it's too late, but you really need to be really, really good at what you do in order to break into the industry, right? And that's really the sad truth about that is when a field has become so saturated, it becomes infinitely harder for you to actually get into the industry. But does that mean that, you know, it's too late to learn web development? No, but uh, you have to ask the question, if you're doing this only for the money, it might not be the best idea, right? But if you actually enjoy web development, I don't want that to stop you from actually from actually pursuing it because at the end of the day, if you're passionate about web development, then you are going to have success with it because you're gonna work that much harder than the rest of your competition to actually get into web development, right? But if you're not the passionate type, then what should you do? What should you learn? Well. If there's something that I've learned throughout my short career, whether it's my past businesses, whether that's been my short tenure as a software engineer, is that what you need to do is you need to look for either the boring opportunities, the ones that aren't really heavily advertised, or the opportunities that are, you know, still in the woodworks, right? They're still not really that popular, right? Nobody's advertising them, right? Those are the type of opportunities that if you don't want a lot of competition, then that's gonna be what you wanna go after. This is called a blue ocean. What a blue ocean is, is it's like a field that nobody is treading after, right? So I'll give an example, and I see this happening in the web uh, development industry, and it's following the same path. I used to be a Facebook ads guy, right? I used to run my own ad agency, and I got in around 2015, when a guy named Ty Lopez, you might know him from his Here My Garage video, was advertising the social media marketing agency program, right? So after you advertise that program, a lot of people were getting into this social media marketing agency. And as a result, I found that my Facebook ad costs were much higher. I found that my competition got a lot higher. I would get uh, less results because of the more competition. And as a result, I really needed to become a lot better, right? So I did that until I was 14, and then I decided that it wasn't worth it, right? So you have to do the same with web development. You have to see, do I wanna compete with everybody else? Am I this passionate enough? Or do I wanna find a blue ocean that is uh, going to be you know, somewhat untapped, right? But how do you find these blue oceans might be the question. Well, unfortunately, there is no easy way to find these blue oceans because once they go to the public, it's already too late, right? You don't have the advantage of having uh, comp uh, having low competition. So you need to find those opportunities for yourself, right? You really need to look into the uh, industry 
let's see what are the problems that a lot of companies are are facing that I could perhaps solve with some sort of code that's a question that I would personally want to ask myself right and you can do this with web development too if you wanted to find perhaps a sub industry of web development that is perhaps untapped right and you could become an industry expert in that particular uh, space so for example Google is releasing their alternative to C++ later on in the year right or I think it's out now I'm not sure but maybe you want to jump on that and you want to become an industry expert and you want to really uh, uh, solidify yourself as this Google's new C++, I forgot what it's called, I think it was in the news somewhere, as Google C++ alternative, the expert, right? And that's going to help you a lot to uh, go to really separate yourself from the competition because it's a blue ocean. Nobody is really studying it, right? So a lot of people have been asking if I should get into AI or if they should get into AI, for example. And I would say that not really the smartest idea. You can still do it if, again, you're passionate enough about it. But at the end of the day, you do have to go through a lot of schooling. And who knows where the industry is, uh, you know, five years from now. I think the best time to get into AI was a couple of years ago. So what you want to do is you want to find those blue ocean opportunities and you want to find out and you want to go after untapped fields and untapped markets in order to reduce the amount of competition that's going to do whether this is in web development or if this is in a different field. So in conclusion, I don't want to stop you. If you feel that uh, web development is your passion, but I want to give you con some considerations that is really, really competitive and you really, really need to be good in order to actually uh, do well and be successful in web development, especially as an entry level uh, developer, right? So I hope that video provided some value to you. If it was, make sure you hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it. And then also subscribe to my channel as it really helps support small creators like myself. And I'll see you in the next video.